Today we're back out here on Call of the Wild, the angler, and we're gonna be trying to catch some nice rainbow trout as well as some giant largemouth bass. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we missed him, guys. I was trying a different technique and we missed him, but I got him this time. We got him. I can't honestly tell if that's a small pike. I kind of feel like it's a small pike. Yep. It's a small pike, all right. Oh boy. But you know what? At least we got our first fish in the boat and that's what counts. All right, there should be some decent sized fish out here. In fact, I know there's some giant bass because we're not far off from where we caught that giant diamond largemouth a few days ago. What is that? That looks to be a trout right there. There it is, right there, right there, right there. Get your line in, get your line in, get your line in. Oh, he's right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here he comes. Big bass. That's a big, big bass. He's on, he's on, he's on. Oh, 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 oh that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Should for surely be a gold. Man, is he fighting. Holy. Oh, he's going behind that rock. All right, guys. Oh my God, no, 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 no. I can't get him up. He's stuck behind the rock. Move. Dude, move, move, move. Oh my God, this is not a good situation. I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, he's right there. He's still right there. Oh my God, we're gonna catch the same fish twice. <laughs> come on, come on. Tell me we can do it. Tell me we can do it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's gotta be hungry still. So. <laughs> I can't believe we just lost that fish. <sighs> I think I wanna actually try and get out to that rock out there. Go, 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 go. Oh, we made it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, dude, that's a catfish. Catch him, catch him, catch him. I don't know if he's gonna hit it, but you never know. That's the first sighting of a catfish right there that I've seen. Oh, oh my God, he's on, he's on. Oh, he's ripping out drag, guys. Oh, oh man, oh man, we definitely got the catfish on. Oh, look at that. Look at him ripping out drag. Our first catfish. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. You know what? After what uh, ended up as a mishap turned into a blessing because <laughs> I've really wanted to catch a catfish for quite some time. And the fact that we finally have one out here right in front of us, not only that, we have him on our line is super, super cool. Now, the next question is, I don't know if we actually have enough strong enough line and or rod to be able to get this fish in because he looked pretty big and catfish fight. Oh boy, do they fight. <laughs> Did you see the rod just bend? Oh, that was so cool. I mean, I could probably turn the drag up one more, but like, that's it. We're going to have to be really, really careful. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Need to gain some ground. Need to gain some ground. We only have like 280 feet of line here, so we really need to gain some ground. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Yep. That's it. That's it. There goes our line. That's it. I don't have any more line left. He's going to break us off. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> We're over two. Well, that's not what I planned on doing. We got a fish out there. I couldn't tell what it was, but it's definitely a fish. Let's see if we can't get lucky enough to get him in. That was really cool though. 
I definitely enjoyed the fact that you could tell we had a completely different species of a fish on. The way that he pulled, they just do like the head shake, just like, almost like a walleye. There he is! Oh! It's another good fish. I don't know what it is, but it might be another catfish, huh? It's got an interesting head shake. Oh, it's a bass! Yes! Wait, is it a bass? No, it's a rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. All right, we got a rainbow trout coming in here. It's a decent one, too. Let's get him in. Rainbow trout in the boat. It's a five pound silver rainbow trout. I'll take it. Second fish in the boat. <laughs> we should have had three. We should have had four by now, actually. But the last two just decided not to hold on too much longer and they got off. Well, one time, this rock right here stole our big bass, which would have been a nice bass. It for surely would have been a gold. I don't think it was quite big enough for diamond, but it would have been nice. For surely would have been nice. There's a fish down there. Well, tell you what, let's just give her a cast out there. Oh, there's a fish right there, actually. And um, let's see. What we come up with? Oh, fish on! Ooh. Oh, dude, the rod just bent right in half like it was gonna break. It's so confusing. Like, it's hard to tell whether or not you have a giant fish on or if it just hits it hard. All I know is this here looks like a bass. Oh, yeah, we definitely got a bass. That should be a largemouth. Not that big of one, but maybe about like a five pounder. Let's get him in here. There it is. Yeah, 4.39 pounds. So almost a five pound largemouth. I mean, he fought decent, but the way he hit it, it was like a friggin' musky. So I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It really is. All right, there's another fish there. It's a perch. But I'm not seeing any big fish around here. Whoa, just because we're not seeing them doesn't mean that they're not there. That is going to be... Looks to be a largemouth? Why can't I tell what that is? It is a largemouth. Yeah. Not a very big one, but it's a largemouth. Let's get him in. Yeah, 4.6 pounder. So another 5 pounder. Second largemouth of the day. But... I love the fact that you can cast in spots where you think there should be fish, and there actually are. You just gotta be patient enough to get them to hit. Look at that, two for two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what the heck did we hook here? Holy, what in the heck did we hook? Holy. What did we hook here? I don't know, but he is ripping out drag like absolute nuts. And I have my drag all the way down. Or is it the lily pads? You know what? I really, really hope it's not a pike in the lily pads. I hope it's not. I mean, it's going to be cool if it's some kind of new species of fish that we haven't caught yet, or at least like a big fish, right? So that's what I'm hoping for. Then it'll be worth it. Then it'll be worth it for me sitting here for 25, 30 minutes real time to catch this fish. Because it's going on about 18 minutes here. <laughs> and the fish says no. He disagrees. <laughs> He's not ready to come in yet. Oh my god. I'm really hoping it's a catfish. Even if it's a small catfish, like I'll be really, really happy. But honestly, I have absolutely no clue, not even the slightest bit of what kind of fish we have. Now you might be wondering why I keep my rod tip up like that. And that's because I'm trying to keep them out of those lily pads again. I don't want them to get back in there. Oh, 
Oh my god. We're about to have him at 50 feet out from less. Oh my god, it's a pike. It's a pike. You gotta be kidding me. And if this thing's a silver. It's gonna be a silver, isn't it? I mean, if it's a gold, at least I'll be happy because it'll be our biggest pike so far. Obviously not as happy as if it was like a catfish or a big bass or something like that. Or a giant trout, but... If it's at least a gold, I'll be okay with that. Okay, really? We had him so close. Why could we not get him in? If this fish is a silver, I'm gonna rage quit. I'm, I'm gonna rage quit. I'm not even kidding. So you guys better hope it's not gonna be a silver. You better hope it's gonna be bigger than that. I didn't get a good look at the fish. I mean, I can tell it was a pike. It looked decent size, but I couldn't tell if it was big or not. And then he went right back into the stinking lily pads. Come on, come over here. Don't go back that way. Come on. Come on. Keep coming. Holy, we almost got him in. Let's get him in. Come on, here he comes. It's a friggin' silver, you gotta be kidding me! That's it, I'm done. I don't know who the heck decided that it's supposed to take 35 minutes to ruin a stinking 11 pound northern pike. I don't know who in the heck decided that's supposed to happen. But it absolutely drives me crazy. Because it should take five minutes tops.